All right, it is nighttime. Well, it gets nighttime at three o'clock here, but it is nighttime. So a full day of working on this machine, well, four or five hours, stripped it all down, got it all cleaned up and adjusted and polished out. And I think it's good to go. Well, it needs to be, the alignment is off. It has a weird alignment adjustment system. It's right here on the side. It's like an eccentric bolt system. And I had it set with, because you have to take the, the body off to do that. And I had the body off and adjusted it and I thought it was fine. And then I put the body all, I put the whole thing back together and did a type test. And it is off again. So I'm going to have to pull it. It's easy. The carriage comes off. There's levers right here to pop the carriage off. But yeah, this thing polished up nicely. It's shiny again. Brand new. Feels good too. We'll type, we'll type a little bit. Let me put you in the stand. This is a big old honking beast. Let's see if I can get you, get you in the stand. Everybody in frame. All right, doggo, you got to let me type a little bit, and then we will play with you. Yeah, it has a good system that just feeds paper nice and smoothly. Let's see here. It's got a cool unjam a bar a pipe bar unjammer. This is the bag. This is the bag. Very cool. A couple of mistakes, but you know, I just ate dinner. I'm just hanging out. This is a Tesla Marine Elite. It's a Types of Elite, I believe. Maybe not. Maybe Pika. I didn't really check. But yeah, there's the, the Zoop. It is off just a little bit. And it's got this. This is the color selector side. I thought this was going to be the color selector side because it has the black dot there. But no, this is your touch control. That will do almost nothing, but it it's there. The touch control this is your color selection and there's no stencil on this which is odd because normally in typewriters you'd have the stencil red then the middle position and, and the black but this has like two two middle positions there's like a black uh, even lower black and then that's your like red and black split and then your red so you can use two different black settings to get the most out of your ribbon before you go down there so very cool tab system needed work so I got that set up and and fixed and of course like I said that carriage was just it was frozen solid everything was solid in it very cool machine I like it a lot it's not as bet it's not as good as the the Halda star I know you guys saw me blasting out on that that star but this is very very cool I would use it if I was looking for a standard machine I have no place for this thing that's you know, we'll find, we'll find a spot, either a place for it or a new home for it. If somebody's out there looking for a cool little Commodore standard machine. I'm going to try to get some touch up paint for this guys so I can fix these, these couple of nicks. There's a couple of nicks right here and right there. And I, I felt lined a lot of these rattly parts. So they're not super rattly anymore, but there's no, no more damage to it. And it's just, works it's a pretty fun machine so that's it guys just to update on this commodore i'm going to pull it apart one more time just to set that uh shift motion shift alignment and then we'll call this one rescued and and maybe list it list it again get it out there to somebody so talk to you guys later